हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक लॉजिक बिहाइंड द पैटर्न ट्राइंगल पैटर्न वाई डज इट वर्कस एंड वॉट एक्चुअली हैपन्स बिहाइंड इट वी नो हाउ इट वर्कस वी नो वी हैव टू वेट फॉर ब्रेकआउट एंड ऑल दैट बट लेट्स जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इट सो इफ यू सी बेसिकली डोंट लुक एट इट एट अ प्राइस एट एट अ लाइक लुक एट इट लाइक अ प्राइस दैट इज मूविंग अप एंड डाउन लुक एट इट बिट एज a set of traders or a set of institutions fighting for the price so as it is rightly said that a chart is basically uh, it just represents in a graphical way the emotions or the psychology of the traders behind it so we just get to see everything or the or the psychology of the traders in the form of a visual uh, form in the visual pattern so over here we can see the like over here when the price starting moving upwards and over here the volume also came it actually started moving upwards and over here then there was a supply or resistance and then when the we'll see so the people or the traders who thought that this was a good buy this is shalimar paints daily chart so if you thought this was a good buy at 60 at 60 58 59 levels and after it were where it started moving up the if you you can say the shorters started to feel that this is really overpriced and they started shorting the stock and the guys who buyers who bought it here started booking profit so it started to move downwards so now when it came to this area around 63 64 area so the buyers did not let it fall over here and they started buying it aggressively from this area instead so through the traders who felt that this was fairly priced at 58 or 59 area 58 59 price now thought that this is fairly priced at 63 or 64 area and they did not let it fall behind it fall below it and then it again started consolidating and then again when it came now to 64 area the buyers again became active the demand came and it again pushed the price up and you can see over here they uh, the traders who bought it over here by traders i mean every each and every one the fi's di's or the retailers who bought it from here they started booking the profit here or it was again met with overhead supply so again it started to fall back and now the for the buyers who thought that it was fairly uh, priced at 64 area now thought that it is fairly priced at even 67 68 areas and that it they should start accumulating from here itself instead of waiting for these levels so basically what is happening that this is a fight is going on between the bulls and the bears and the range is narrowing so here we can see the uh, fight is going on and once this bro, bro, uh, bro once this breakout came with volume this is a very important point so it just shows that the bulls won the fight over here and the bears gave up so they so the bro, breakout came and all the overhead supply was absorbed by the bulls and the they kept pushing the price higher along with volume along with volume is a very important factor see because these kinds of volume cannot be made by small retailers like us these are made by big institutions fis dis so we just have to follow them and of course after that it you know came back with lower volume gave a retest and then again moved up but the basic logic remains the same the we just have to look at it as a fight between the buyers and sellers and now you can see that there are different type of traders the swing traders will try to buy it here and then book profits when it comes near this area and then again buy here and then book profits near the again the resistance area or there there are breakout traders who will wait for a breakout to come along with good volumes and they will buy over there so how you trade it is a different thing but the logic behind i just want to explain it the what was the actual logic behind it thank you